Hi, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Aquarius. Where are my possible Aquarius at? Did you guys miss me? <laughs> I missed you guys. Okay, I missed you guys. Just handling a few business. You know, emotions are running high and low at this time, Aquarius. Okay, so, you know, the planets are in retrograde at this time. Mercury, Saturn, and tomorrow... Neptune, yes, so you're emotionally out of whack at this time, some of you guys, but focused on practical things, right? So, practical things your money, your health, right? <laughs> Stuff like that, okay? But at the same time, speak your mind, tying up karmic depths at this time, guys, karmic relationships, karmic friendships, whatever the case may be, and speak your mind, <laughs> yes, and welcoming you. That's for some of you guys. But not really focused there. Okay? Not really focused there. Oh, gosh. Something is in my eye all of a sudden. So something may be in you guys' eyes. You know, some of you guys may need to check your eyes out there. But really, really, really uh, health conscious for some of you guys at this time. Okay? The time now is, wow, 5.15. So... 10 11 the ascendant masters are with you at this time you may be seeing a, a lot of 11 11 or fives fives is all about changes guys okay we already know that six is following your intuitions and that's what you're doing so you really 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 and this is keen guys really need to pay attention to your intuitions and instincts at this time okay really and uh facing your fears you guys are facing your fears as well hidden fears okay yes but big offer is coming to you. I know that. And some of you guys are planning to move. I mean, move, move. Yes. But, you know, just get your money straight. Get your money in order. And you're going to get it. You're going to get it. I do see great things coming your way. Okay. So, let's begin. Let's begin. Uh, Angel. <laughs> some of you guys' name may be Angel out there. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But definitely 1111 is you're on the right path, okay? Wishes coming true, a divine coming in for you guys, for some of you guys, okay? So you guys are already in a relationship with your divine partner, okay? Yes, and making big moves. Oh, this is also a time for breakup and secrets being exposed, guys. It's a lot of bull crap that's going to come out, but let's go, let's go, let's go. I did have a lot of downloads, okay? But again, I'm very excited about your reading. All right, 34 is seven. So seven, your blessings are coming. Some of you guys may be 34, 43, okay? Um, some of you guys may be dealing with a Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius, okay? Some of you guys may be pregnant at this time, contemplating what to do about a child or, you know, family. Some of you guys don't have children going to IVF for some of you guys, all right? But this is a very fertile time for you. Some of you guys may be educators out there, but schooling oneself at this time. You're really, really, really up in your head, healing. Some of you guys are still healing, getting enlightenment from above. Your ancestors are trying to reach out to you through dreams. Okay, some of you guys may have already been dreaming about your past over loved ones, or they're trying to connect with you. But I do see some of you guys um, you're, have been dreaming about your past over loved ones. Okay, yes. Gemini is all about communication. Like I said, you being direct with people. You're speaking your mind, okay? But at the same time, you're not really giving too much to people. You're just being direct, okay? The Aquarius way. <laughs> Straight to the point, okay? With the Pisces, you're elusive, mysterious at this time. But uh, a lot of daydreaming going on with you guys, okay? A lot of daydreaming. I do see someone missing you, or you may be missing someone that passed away dear to you, okay? Yes. Um, some of you guys need to get rest. So some of you guys are not resting enough. So Spirit is advising that you get rest, okay? But I do see a lot of downloads at this time coming in towards you guys, all right? And your blessings are definitely coming. I do see you guys overseeing your own company, CEO, CFO, okay, entrepreneur. This is what you guys are doing, but you guys are studying and learning at this time, all right? But I do see someone who wants to communicate with you. Some of you guys may be also dealing with... Um, I do see a Taurus here. Okay, I do see a Taurus as well. All right. Or a Sagittarius. 
or Virgo. All right, but this is all about follow your intuitions and communicating effectively of what you want. All right, some of you guys may already be supervisors out there, but I do see you guys working on something, but working in silence. And I do see a lot of people looking up to you as well. Okay, but take time to rest and to yourself. All right, but I do, and I also see you guys in the spotlight, in the spotlight. Okay, so some of you guys may be meeting one of those signs, dealing with one of those signs, or have those signs anywhere in your chart. Gemini, Pisces, Taurus, Sagittarius, or a Virgo. Okay, yes. Yeah. But I do see a lot of people studying you, okay, studying you, or trying to get to know you. But at this time, you're taking time to yourself. You're taking a break. Healing. Again, wrapping up karmic debt. All right? But holding things you're, you're you're being very mindful of what you say but maintaining your your personal space okay but there's somebody longing for you and somebody's trying to connect with you and i feel like this is your ancestors okay yes yeah, so pay pay attention guys to your dreams again even your enemy can give you a message all right yes but i do see you being in the spotlight okay guys mm-hmm Yes. Some of you guys may work in a, a library, hospital setting, or finance, or just with IT, something with computers. But you're paying attention to details at this time and you're being very analytical. Again, to yourself, maintain your peace. Try not to argue with anybody at this time. Um, Aquarius, please. Yes. Something is definitely in my eye, though. Oof. But seven. That is one of your numbers, seven. Seven, five, 15, six. Okay. Your life, your life path may be seven as well. Six, another one of your numbers, okay? Again, Taurus coming through. So this is just Taurus, all right? So some of you guys may have rising moon and Venus or your north node in Taurus. But Taurus is all about stability and grounding oneself, right? Hard work and dedication, okay? And stability, all right? Some of you guys, spirit animal may be the wolf, but you're well protected. Again, your ancestors are trying to send you messages, downloads, okay, in your dream state. So pay attention and meditate, meditate, all right? But you're well protected. There's someone close to you that's protecting you at this time. Your third eye is protected as well. But this is all about instincts and intuitions, like I said. Instincts and intuitions, all right? But embark it on a new journey as well, okay? Yes, embark it on a new journey. Some of you guys may be widows out there or your loved one may be sick at this time, all right? But I forgot to read. Ambryo, okay? Some of you guys' name may be Ambryo, um, Aaliyah. I have Aniel, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, but Ambriel sounds like Amber, but patron of physics and students. Clarity, getting a lot of clarity in your life at this time. Psychic protection, what I just said. I said it with this card though, but psychic protection. Inspired curiosity, again, learning. You're learning in silence. Intellectual, all about communication communication <laughs> communication and aha moments a lot of aha moments okay like aha all right yes um yeah things coming to light i clear mental fog and doubt and bring psychic insight to your awareness for spiritual and scholastic benefit soda light may and stay positive so again some of you guys may be dealing with somebody um a taurus or a gemini all right, but stay positive during this time, guys, because again, these planets are in retrograde, so your feelings may be out of whack. Okay, get rest. So you guys are not resting enough. All right, but uh, again, I've, um, you guys are healing fears at this time as well. Your innermost fears, you guys are dealing with at this time as well. Okay, but stay positive during this time. And this is Anayel, star of love and beauty. Yes, and you're gonna be attracted a lot of eyes, but at the same time, you're very mysterious to people, okay? And you're very guarded and well-guarded. So again, when it comes to meeting people or just being 
out and about or being invited somewhere always follow your intuitions and your instincts but it's on point at this time it's on point but you're well protected as well so if you feel that little nudge from spirit or that little wind that means <laughs> go the other direction if you step in someone's apartment or go somewhere with someone and you don't feel it's right immediately remove yourself but i do see you protecting your peace at this time serene reassuring creative yeah you're tapping into your creativity love love is definitely coming sensuality reflection and psychic ability this is all having to do with your you're, you're growing at this time guys you're on spiritual growth okay you're ascending all right so so you guys are really stepping into the role of being coming that psychic that powerful powerful being okay so you're growing every day you're growing and every day you're tapping more and more into your abilities your spiritual gifts okay so whoever i'm talking to you have many spiritual gifts okay yes i help you raise i help raise your vibration to the higher frequency of joy and love to experience more passion in your life Okay, so really be coming into it oneself. But you already know what you want out of love, right? So some of you guys are still healing and loving oneself. Still dealing with karmic relationships and getting out of toxic surroundings and people, right? Moonstone Friday, which is tomorrow, and developing romance. So somebody's love, I feel somebody's love is going to take your breath away. And somebody, if you guys, for some of you guys, somebody is really getting in tune with their love for you. Okay, that's that's what I'm picking up. All right, yes, but I do see uh, for some of you guys pregnancy. Okay, some of you guys may go by a pronoun as well. All right, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna pick those two cards. Uh, yeah, because definitely a soulmate is coming in. All right, definitely a soulmate is coming in. So let's get right to it. But developing romance, how do we develop romance? Is loving yourself first. So that's what you're doing, okay? But working on the practical things at this time. <laughs> Anything practical and then love will come if that's what you guys are seeking. Some of you guys are developing romance as we speak with somebody new or just reigniting that romance in your current relationship. But one thing is for sure, you guys you don't have time for this, the, the BS, okay? All right, so let me get um, your affirmation. You know I'm going to give you a banging reading, right, Aquarius? <laughs> Definitely love is in the air. I'm in the mood for love simply because you're near me. You're not going to see this coming. You have a lot of secret admirers at this time, but I do see traveling, like I said. So I do see you guys moving, moving, traveling, just moving away from the nonsense, planning carefully at this time, remaining incognito, okay? Yes, white is all about purity. Again, you're going through the purification process, developing one's skills, especially your psychic abilities, okay? And reading people's ass fulfilled if they fuck with you. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, okay? So, yes, so there you have, you're going to have a lot of admirers, okay? So you guys already have a lot of admirers, but definitely love is blooming and developing romance. It, learning how to open your heart to new okay so if you guys are waiting for somebody um i do see new coming in okay but if you guys are waiting for someone i do see that person is starting to understand how they feel about you and this connection okay but i do see new love blossoming for you guys all right but this person is is watching you from afar staying hidden all right <laughs> Yes. Um, some of you guys may be meeting this person around your birthday month. If you was born in February, I mean, February, if you was born in that month, but around your holiday, your uh, Aquarius season. Okay, that's for some of you guys. All right. Yes. And this person is going to be very romantic because I do see a flower here. So this person is going to be very romantic, want to take you on dates. So, you know, I have to get into who this person is. Okay. But. Whoever this person is, I do see traveling. This person is going to want to travel, like get away, okay, with you. Um, but again, this person, whoever is coming in is going to be, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take your breath away. But learn how to embrace this love that's coming in, guys. Not all storms 
come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. So not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some to come to clear your path. So this right now, we're going through a storm, guys. Again, the karmic is being wrapped up at this time. The karmic death. Okay? Some of you guys may be stuck in traffic. Be careful with road rage out there, guys. Okay? Or car, car problems. Some of you guys may be having car problems. Or purchasing a new car. But I do see definitely traveling. And some of you guys moving, moving. Just planning to purchase something and move away from the drama. Okay? Yeah. Someone wants something serene and peaceful. All right? Okay, let's continue, guys. But, yo. <laughs> so, again, these are tower moments. You're, again, your emotions are out of whack. There are three planets. Well, starting tomorrow, it's going to be three planets in retrograde, so your emotions are going to be everywhere. But it's learning how to maintain and control your emotions and learning how to accept oneself. And that's what you're doing. But for you guys, it's focusing on practical things and doing away with, with karmic people and maintaining your peace. Just don't get, because some of you guys may be feeling depressed, just don't get too much in your head and lose yourself. All right? So really, really, really have to maintain control. My inspired actions create prosperity. And that's what you're doing. You see, focus on the practical things. My inspired actions create prosperity. So that's what you're focused on, your finances. Okay? Yes. This looks like a pend pendulum. Hold on, guys. One second. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's a lot of noise. But there may be chaos around you, but learn how to block it out. So some of you guys, that's how you feel. Like your mind is like going like 100 miles per hour. But just learn how to control it. <laughs> Because you guys are really up in your head at this time and not sleeping well. All right? But this definitely looks like a pendulum. So right now, you're just figuring out which direction you want to go in and trying to balance out your life at this time. Not allowing anybody to move you. Okay? Yes. But I feel here, you're going to have somebody on a string. Yes. Or you have someone on a string. Okay? But you are the master. <laughs> you, so you're you're doing what you need to do but you are the master of your emotions at this time you're mastering your emotions that's what you're doing okay yeah so this is gonna get be a very interesting reading <laughs> Yo. yeah so you're not allowing anybody to take you out of whack Okay, they could kiss your fucking ass for all you care, but you are being straightforward with people at this time. Okay, like don't fuck around with me. Okay, really nice, really nice, nasty. You're nice, nasty at this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, so let, let's let's continue, guys. Let's continue, because I have a lot to cover with you guys. I do, I do, I do. All right, let me get one of these. Yeah, you see what I said? You're taking time to recharge at this time. So maintain your peace by yourself. Okay, you don't want anyone around you at this time, all right? Get out in nature more, guys. Get out in nature. But when I see this light pole, it's like things coming to light, all right? It's clarity, like the angel said, right? Your angels are saying clarity, all right? But protecting your space, okay? Protecting your personal space at this time, all right? And a lot of thinking up in your head and thinking and maintain and get your downloads, okay? Meditate and get your downloads, all right? Some of you guys may have a green thumb, um, love to garden or plant, but you want to move somewhere very peaceful, okay? Some of you guys may be meeting someone at a park or a date or love the park in general. Just sit at the park and just think, but be careful with meeting someone by yourself, all right? Again, intuitions and in instincts, guys, all right? But a lot of getting a lot of clarity about your, uh, about your life and mastering your emotions at this time and learning how to accept love. Learning how to receive and accept love, okay? Because some of you guys have been closed up and hurt and trying to do away, but I do see new coming in for you guys, 
all right i'm just saying all right but there is somebody that's still holding on to your energy i invite magic into my life always again you guys are very powerful every day i grow my connection to this earth some of you guys may be dealing with an earth sign or have um taurus capricorn virgo or have particularly uh earth in your chart rising moon venus or your north node or anywhere in your chart um earth a lot of earth but earth is all about grounding oneself and with trees you're recharging into something much more sturdier and stronger and firm right so that's what you're doing you're recharging <laughs> you're recharging all right if i am ever feeling low i simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life right so you're going with the flow at this time you understand some things you cannot control some things are out of your hand right tower moments and karma you're dealing with it <laughs> you're a trooper you're dealing with it right guys but look what it says not all storms come to disrupt your life some come to clear your path so you understand that these times bad times don't last forever right so you're just letting it slide through but my, while maintaining a positive outlook on life because you're manifesting at this time okay but what matters be a logical practical right the practical things like i said okay being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy like i said go outside more take a fresh uh, breath of fresh air <sighs> right now we're stuck in new york you know new york is having travel travel delays and stuff like that the weather okay but still in all it's 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 like just step outside and you know open the window and <sighs> okay don't stay in bed all day you know get up and be productive okay because again during these times the, ret the retrogrades you can really be emotional emotionally out of whack and focused on one particular thing too long which will send your manifestation you know like haywire it, it, it it's just okay so try to maintain positive at this time guys all right but yes this is what i said that you're doing you're just maintaining your personal space and you stay there i stay here thanks thank you very much <laughs> okay yes all right um yeah let me get one of these oh before i get that excuse me let me get one of these Yeah, so I'm changing up my reading, guys, but I'm going to give you a thorough reading, guys. Because 1212, 12, 3 3 is 6. Again, 3 3 is 6. All right? So you may be seeing a lot of um, repeating numbers or mirrored numbers 12 12, 21 21, like that. Okay? No shortcuts. Trust in the process and do not allow others to derail you from making progress on the goals you've set. And that's what you're doing. You're cutting out those karmic ties, you're maintaining your silence, you're working in silence, you're maintaining your peace, but you're seeing people for who they are. So you're cutting those ties, all right? But as a matter of fact, you're gonna be having people on the string, okay? You're gonna be, they're gonna be your puppet, all right? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay, yes. But you're not taking any shortcuts, and especially with people and business, your money, your, anything you're being very direct and you know what you want okay so if they're trying to shortchange you out of here motherfucker not today okay but you're trusting in the process some of you guys aren't and some of you guys are you understand the laws of attraction okay you understand how this works the universe right so you're not allowing anybody to fuck with your mind at this time as a matter of fact you're playing dumb at their own game all right, but you're just setting those healthy boundaries and that's what you're doing. Okay, setting those healthy boundaries and out of here. Okay, so you're trusting the process and you're making progress on your goals that you're setting for yourself. Practical things, like I said, but especially your money moves and what matters most. Your home, you're purchasing that condo, investing in something, buying a coin, whatever it is. But money moves and your health. 
okay? Yes. All right. Okay, so tying up loose ends. So whatever projects you're, you're, you're started, Spirit wants you to finish it, complete it before you go on to the next project. But star of love and beauty. Okay, so you really got you guys are really gonna be front and center stage. Okay, you guys are gonna really have a lot of admirers, but choose wisely. Okay, and it cut in terms of business as well. Business, but I do see a lot of abundance but just trust in the process, okay? Yeah, not at rope, a lasting commitment. So definitely, <laughs> some of you guys are getting married, some of you guys are getting engaged, some of you guys have just tied the knot, some of you guys are getting eloped, I'm just saying. But lasting commitment doesn't necessarily have to be love, but this is loving yourself, and again, tying up loose ends, okay? Tying up loose ends, all right? But I feel that there is someone coming in that, again, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be, all right, a long-lasting commitment. And I do see uh, a long-lasting commitment in terms of business as well. You guys are gonna be a power couple. Whoever is coming in, you're gonna be a power couple with this person. But right now, you guys are breaking generational curses, guys. This is what this is all about. Entering into 2023 is wrapping up, tying up loose ends. And entering into 2024, lasting commitments, building your team, whether it's business, love, but loving what you're doing, but setting those healthy boundaries and speaking up for what you want. Okay, be you're being assertive and aggressive at this time. If people don't like it, they could kiss your fucking ass, right? This is what it's all about. It's not about healing others or helping others. Yes, now it's about you investing in yourself and really taking care take removing yourself basically okay yeah okay you don't learn you don't know how to swim what well, you're gonna learn today motherfucker all right that, that's just what it is all right because sometimes you guys could put yourself a little bit too much out there with people but they don't do the same for you you understand this you're understanding this okay so not at rope elastic commitment is coming for you guys i do see someone do wanting to engage, preparing to come to you to offer you something long lasting. And I do see you guys meeting someone that's gonna be a long lasting commitment. However, Spirit wants you to be open to receive. To open, be open to receive. Okay, because some of you guys have just been, you know, some of you guys have been single for a very long time. Uh, you love your, you know, you give yourself what you want. So when this person comes in and generous and wants to, you know, help, you're not gonna, uh, be, you're not gonna know how to take that, right? Some of you guys. So spirit wants you to be open to receive, okay, and accept new love. Receive and accept, okay? Yes. All right. But I do see when it comes in terms of business, finances, and everything, you're gonna have, you're gonna have the right team, okay, on your side. All right yes but this is long lasting like i said long lasting commitment. all right let me get one of these but abundance all right and learning how to trust again for some of you guys learning how to trust again although you don't trust anyone but this is all again what intuitions and instincts okay Yeah, patience, okay? So you're giving yourself time. You're giving yourself time, all right? So in due timing, but everything is about patience, okay? Patience and timing and trusting, okay? Yes. Spirit is asking me to pick another angel. Yeah, because what? Your wishes are coming true. What I said was 11-11. Not only your ascended masters, your ancestors, your loved ones are with you at this time. Your angel guides, spirit guides. But 11-11 also means wishes coming true. But at this time now, it's all about patience. Okay? Patience, timing. Because whatever you're planting and whatever the tree, 
whatever you whatever it is that you're focused on your endeavors your goals is going to be a wish fulfillment of yours again some of you guys may love gardening have your own fruits or plants or sell fruits work in a you know supermarket or yeah or planning that okay and relaxation what i said some of you guys need to what get some rest you guys are not sleeping well all right but i do see a lot of learning and studying and growing at this time all right especially when it comes to your spiritual gifts your emotions stuff like that tapping in you're tapping in right now okay some of you guys need to heal mother issues sibling issues as well past yeah, what I said, that's coming towards you guys. What I said, abundance. Lots and lots and lots of money coming towards you guys. But abundance is not only money, but it's also love. It's love, health, right? Yes, your sanity. <laughs> whatever, you're, whatever you're investing in is going to take off, basically. Okay? There's no stopping you at this time. But right now, you're being patient with yourself and detailed and analytical. And you're paying attention to the details. You're just not jumping into a relationship, jumping into any contract. No, you're stepping outside the box at this time and you're just reevaluating everyone and everything. Okay? Yes. All right. Okay. Spirit wants me to pick another angel, so I will. I will. But again, people are, people are finding you, you know, some people may, you change. You're not changing. You're not changing. You're growing. That's what it is. You're growing. Okay, guys? Yeah. Can't make this up. You know why Spirit want me to pick it? To confirm everything I was telling you guys, because I said abundance is coming, long lasting, everything. I, I was excited for this reading. Satchiel came out with abundance. Satchiel is bringer of prosperity and abundance. Some of you guys may be brown skin, tan, long hair for a guy, goatee. Some of you guys may have uh, love to sh um, have cut cut your beard with a, a, a piece of hair right here. Well, I don't know what it calls this, but some of you guys may have a dimple in your chin. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. But lots and lots and lots of blessings and abundance coming your way, guys. It's all about patience. I, some of you guys may, may be saying, I'm not seeing it yet. Where, where is it? It's coming it's coming but again you need to tie up loose ends right all right but bring up of prosperity and abundance saving money at this time guys another thing is about saving money but practical what's practical prestige what i said being in the limelight looking over people yes being that being that person you're gonna be that person Okay, you're going to be that bitch. You're going to be that person, all right? You're going to be that dude, that girl, that female, that man, whatever pronoun you go by. You're going to be that, okay? <laughs> but prestige, feeling good, opulence, splendor, hope, wealth, generosity, and luck. And everything, because you were so generous, laws of attraction, because you were so generous, now you're going to reap all the benefits, your good karma is coming back. But right now, we're just tying up karmic debt at this time with all these retrogrades and emotions are out of whack and whatever. But just pay attention to your dreams, your intuitions, and your instincts at this time, especially when it comes to people, okay? I help you tune into the higher octaves of abundance to magnify the good things in life. Some of you guys may be singer, singers or going to singing school at this time, practicing your, your voice, okay? Gold. Thursday, which is today, and manifest it. What I said you guys are doing in the beginning. You guys are manifesting it. So focus on the prize. Focus on that gold, platinum. Focus, focus, starting now, which is Thursday, right? But five is the number, Sagittarius, again. So this is all about being bold, taking risks, and action, okay? Five, huge changes are on the way, guys, and five was one of your numbers, okay? Yes. All right. So, let me get one of these. And then I'm going to get into a reading. For, wow, the first thing I saw was, bam, luck. So, luck, you can't tell me luck is not on your side, guys. <laughs> a sudden change of luck is likely. 
things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking, okay? But right now, you're just recharging, all right? You are. One more. And care required. Came out in reverse. So some of you guys, let me read what it says. It says, guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. What I said, but care required came in reverse. You know why it came in reverse? Because you're not making any foolish moves. You see people for who they are. You see the deceit. Hold on, guys. Sorry, guys. So care required in reverse means that you're seeing people for who they are. There is no deception when it comes to you. Okay? Yes. So you're, you are being very careful and cautious when it comes to motherfuckers. Right? So, yeah. All right? And especially when it comes to your finances. So, you know, all that emotional, trying to be emotional manipulative. You're like, really? Out of here, motherfucker. <laughs> wrong one wrong one with that bullshit you're being nice and nasty with it okay some of you guys are just going cold and, and not speaking to people at all some of you guys are just not speaking at all but you know if you <clears throat> have something to say you're gonna say all right okay so let's get into your reading let me just pull a few cards here okay guys let's see what's up what's going on oh Get a few more cards. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the moon. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay, new moon in Libra. So, again, things are going to be balanced out in your life, but patience. You're being very patient, and patience is required at this time, guys. Okay, some of you guys may be going to court. Some of you guys may work the law field or, you know, um, somewhere in the law. All right, but balance. You're maintaining balance at this time. Okay, and balancing out your emotions and not letting anybody uh, try to play with your mind. Fuck with your mind. But you're fucking with people, but we're not going to go there. All right, but uh, definitely your new romantic cycle is coming in, guys. So, again, be prepared to accept new, receive new. And even if it's somebody that you've been waiting for, or somebody that you still harbor feelings for, this person is coming back as a new person because this person is starting to develop their feelings for you and coming to terms how they feel about you that's for some of you guys all right but definitely a new romantic cycle begins but you loving yourself first and putting yourself first all right really 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 and truly okay this may be a libra chaos going on some of you guys may be dealing with a police officer or somebody that works in the medical field but again be careful with accidents be careful with try people trying to stir your emotions at this time guys stay away from drama stay away from it okay go the distance and that's what you're doing okay you're running your own race at this time and you're leaving people in the dust shed an old skin at this time okay yes regenerating recharging into something much stronger, faster, rely, re, resilient, okay? <laughs> Persistent, but there is somebody coming and somebody, something is coming in fast, guys. Black and white is all about balance as well, all right? The oasis, what's right, what's wrong, okay? All that good shit, right? But you're going the distance at this time. You're going the distance, all right? Yes. If you can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. This looks like a desert to me. Some of you guys may live like in Nevada, somewhere over there by the desert, Arizona. All right, 47. Some of you guys may be 47 years old, but 47 is 11. Okay, so definitely 11. Your ascendant masses are with you at this time. All right, but again, out with the old and with the new. So you're shedding. You're on your spiritual growth at this time and developing, growing. That's what you're doing. Okay, but out of here. Now you see me, now you don't. That's it. All right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So let me get into your energy, guys. Let's see what's going on. All right. Spread a love and light. Give me two cards to start off. Aquarius energy, please. Oh, king, queen of swords, but king and queen of swords. 
okay? King and Queen of Swords, what I said, practical. You're logical at this time. You're speaking your mind, okay? You're cutting people out at this time. You're being direct, all right? And total, and you're being total, totally honest with yourself and with people, okay? Very strong-willed at this time, guys. You're very strong-willed, all right? Again, some of you guys may be into law, all right? Work somewhere in the law. But again, you're speaking your mind and being totally honest with people and with yourself. Head over heart at this time, okay? Very opinionated. Six of swords in reverse, all right? Somebody you... Okay. There's something, again, tying up loose ends. When I see the queen of swords, king, queen of swords, this is unisex, guys, and the six of swords in reverse... There is some type of unfinished business here that you guys feel that you still, some of you guys are still stuck in the past. Something that needs to be addressed that wasn't addressed. But I feel somebody here can't move on from you. There's an emotional baggage here. Again, like I said, some of you guys are still healing from past childhood trauma or family, friends, whatever it is. You're still tying up loose ends. Okay, but there is someone here. That wants to come in possibly another air sign like yourself Aquarius Gemini Libra that wants to that wants to speak to you okay that has something to say to you um, they just feel like there's unresolved issues and they can't move on from this they're still stuck in the past some of you guys are still stuck in the past but you're being totally honest with yourself okay so again you're, you're still you're still under construction right you're still developing but there's someone here I feel that can't move on guys I'm just being totally honest with you guys all right there's still emotional baggage from your past for some of you guys uh, that is gonna resurface all right but some of you guys are healing this past seven of Pentacles all right so this is all about hard work and perseverance all right diligence but there's a little bit of delays which where patience has to be applied so it's a waiting game. But someone here wants to, is thinking about a way how to resolve this situation and how can they come back and to invest. But right now you're just focused on your pentacles, practical things, your pentacles and rebuilding oneself. Again, when I see this person watering the pentacles, this is something about gardening. Some of you guys are gardening, but whatever it is that you're planting for yourself, is gonna be a wish fulfillment. It's growing, you're growing, it's growing whatever plans you're implementing at this time but right now that's what you guys are focused on but there is someone here that wants to come in to add to nurture this to grow with you um, but I don't know about that but right now it's all about hard work and implementing your ideas and focused on that at this time Kill cups. Okay, so this is uh, some of you guys may be dealing with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. All right, but this is definitely someone here. Okay, that's been taking a while. It's been taking a while with this person to speak up, to come to you to resolve this situation. This person. All right, they're really in their feelings about you. But I do see someone new that's coming in for you guys. All right, but I'm picking up like an old energy as well. Okay, but this person is very, uh, whoever is coming in is going to be emotionally available. Again, this is unisex, all right? They're going to come to assist you on your projects, whatever help that you need. But this person is coming in very generous and compassionate, okay, guys? But whatever it is at this moment, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to pick it up from your standpoint. Whatever it is at this moment, Spirit wants you to work on your, your feelings, okay? Being more receptive to your feelings and allowing, allowing to love again, okay? Yes. But there is somebody very supportive coming in. This may be a father figure of yours, okay? Somebody that you're working with already or somebody that you're already in a relationship with that you're trying to build with, okay, at this time. But for some of you guys, I'm just feeling someone here that's taking a long time, that took a long time, that wants to come back in and speak their truth. 
but I do see you guys cut this out and you guys are healing from the past. There's somebody that's still stuck in the past and still stuck on you that wants to come in to resolve the situation, but they're taking their time because I don't see their finances too much in order. But whatever it is that you're working on, they're monitoring, they're very interested, and they want to come in to see how they can be of assistance. All right? But this is you working on your emotions as well. Healing. Healing. What I said, working on your emotions, strength, okay? Strength. You may be dealing with a Leo, okay? But this is all about your self-respect, okay? Your self-respect, learning how to trust again, learning how to love again, rebuilding yourself. This is what you're doing, okay? Rebuilding yourself. But again, for some of you guys, you guys are still stuck in the past. But there was someone here that was very prideful, okay? But this person now is very regretful, okay? Regretful. And if they're not, they are. But there is somebody strong. I feel somebody new, strong, coming in, bold. This person is going to be bold and take a move, okay? But right now, it's all about your inner strength and power, okay? And fighting those fears and being courageous, again, being bold, taking risks, being courageous, right? Sagittarius, to do what you need to do to delve into these projects. So although you don't see anything growing, it is going to grow. But I do see someone new coming in as well. Somebody strong, okay? But this person feels a strong connection with you, all right? This is, this, when you meet this person, you're going to automatically feel a strong connection with this person, okay? But because this person is coming in, very loyal and dedicated to you with a lot of compassion, a lot of passion. Okay? To let you know that you don't have to do it by yourself. Yeah, King of Swords. King and Queen of Swords is the perfect match. So some of you guys, again, are already in a connection. This may be a same-sex relationship. Okay? But again, some of you guys are already in a connection. Some of you guys are going through a divorce right now. So you guys may be dating a police again. Some with somebody in the law, you're in the law, military, all right? But with the King of Swords here, this is, again, this is, this could be a third party situation. You may be stuck between two people. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. This may be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You may be dealing with an air sign like yourself, okay? But whoever this person is, this person doesn't like to show emotions, okay? Right now, you're very unemotional at this time. You're learning how to master your emotions, like I said, okay? You're learning how to. But whoever is coming in, guys, don't discredit this person. This person is definitely going to be a perfect match. King and Queen of Swords. They're definitely going to be a perfect match. But in order for you to move forward with this person, you have to release the past, okay? That's for some of you guys. But I do did say you're going to have options here, guys. So, choose wisely when it comes to this, uh, choosing a person. But, yeah. If it's one person, um, this person is coming in very loving. They don't like to show emotions. This person may be a divorcee coming into you guys as well. But this person is going to be, this person, whoever is coming in, they want, they're going to be direct with you. They're going to speak their mind with you. Okay? This is an authoritative figure. Okay? Then you have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm picking up, guys, <laughs> then you have a King of Pentacles. So I have a, three kings here. So I have three kings. There's somebody here that's, you guys are going through your own personal transformation. Guys, I'm just saying, you guys are evolving. So when I have three kings, kings, queens, doesn't matter. Okay, you guys are evolving. So there is definitely an emperor, empress coming in towards you guys to match you. But right now, you guys are going through all the elements. Okay, your stability, King of Pentacles. Okay, so you guys, marriage. Okay, marriage, your stability, your home life, your children. Then you got the King of Swords. Okay, being the authoritative figure in your life, discipline. Okay, being honest with yourself, head over heart, taking control back. Then you have the King of Cups, coming to tune with your feelings, your love. Okay, being open and receptive to receive love. Right, so you're going through all the elements. But at the main time, and at the same time, so right now, again, what I said about this, right? It's like rebuilding oneself from scratch. 
So that's what you're doing. You're going through all the elements. But there is someone here that's going through all the elements as well. The universe is preparing somebody special for you. Okay? Just for you. Your perfect match. Just for you. Okay? But um, you're still under development, guys. But King of Pentacles. So <laughs> this is someone. Uh, so the guys may be dealing with someone that was married. Uh, that's for some of you guys. I'm just saying. Okay? Somebody that was married. Um, you know. Um, but this person, whoever is coming in, this person is going to be stable and secured, emotionally available, okay? But at the same time, authoritative, okay? Yes, strong. This person, whoever is coming in is strong. I feel like this person practically uh, take care of themselves as well. And it's going to be very loving and caring towards you, uh, a provider. Yeah, five of swords in reverse, Okay. <laughs> Again. There is somebody here that wants to compromise, guys. I'm just saying, okay, there's somebody that's having a lot of regrets. Some of you guys may be compromising with yourself. You're not fighting with your, you were fighting with your, you know, there was a power struggle, internal power struggle, but now you're learning how to release, okay? This is the Queen of Swords to the Six of Swords in reverse. The Five of Swords in reverse, you're learning how to release those past regrets that you had. You're growing. You're spiritually growing. You're ascending, Right? But there is someone here that has a lingering resentment every, and they're very regretful about losing you or the things that they did to you, okay? They want to compromise. There's somebody that wants to compromise, but I see a lot of people want to compromise here, okay? But you're just focused at this time. You're focused on healing, rebuilding oneself, and what matters most to you, your finances, your health, okay? Your children. Yeah, the moon in reverse. Pisces, Cancer. So with the moon in reverse, you know, there was a lot of confusion and doubt, okay? Again, you're facing your fears, all right? But a lot of truths were revealed. A lot of truths were revealed, okay? Some of you guys are unhappy at this time, okay? Some of you guys are still confused. Like I said, the emotions running high and low, okay? But you're being true to yourself, and you're seeing people for who they are, okay? No more doubts. No more doubt. But somebody wants to reveal their truth to you. Five of cups in reverse. Yeah, see? No more doubt. You're accepting it. Whatever it is, you're accepting it, and you're moving on at this time. You're releasing. You're finding peace and contentment. Okay? But there's somebody here that wants your forgiveness. And I feel there's a lot of people here that want your forgiveness, whether it be family, whether it be a boss, whether it be a friend, whether it be an ex. There's someone here that wants your forgiveness, but you're forgiving yourself and you're forgiving people. You're learning how to forgive and release. Okay? But there's somebody here that it's wants your forgiveness. They're coming. But you're somebody new is coming in. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Okay. But there's a breakthrough coming. There's new beginnings coming for you guys. Alright? Yes. But you're getting a lot of clarity and you're very sharp at this time. Your mind is very sharp. Okay? And so is your mouth. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay? Some of you guys may be going through surgery, just recovering from surgery at this time, but definitely new beginnings and new ideas. Okay? Yes. And a new love, a proposal. Okay? But you're very guarded at this time when it comes to love, and you're remaining hidden. Again, spiritual development, psychic development. Okay? Yes. Somebody's secretly watching you as well, guys. Bam, Ten of Cups. Definitely your Ten of Cups is coming in, guys. True happiness. Okay, true love. Love and support. But love and support from people. Long-lasting is coming in, guys. And that's the truth. New beginnings for you. Again, new beginnings and a breakthrough and a passionate new beginning. But you're all about you're all about your creativity and you're inspiring. Wow. Passionate and marriage. I can't make this up. Definitely. Okay? It's definitely coming in for you guys. Yeah, somebody wants to speak to you. Okay, but right now you're exploring all your options. But when it comes to your endeavors, okay? But definitely 1111, again. And definitely it's coming in towards you guys. I can't, I'm not pulling any more cards. This may be a cancer, all right? But definitely true love is coming in, guys. Uh, happiness, all right? 
Um, what can I say about this? I mean, <laughs> abundance. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. But definitely, you guys are gonna get married. You guys are married already. Reigniting that passion. You guys are gonna meet your true love. So for some of you guys, a soulmate twin flame is coming in. Eleven, eleven. All right, but still under development. Still going through the cycles and the phases at this time. The elements. Okay. But uh, go Aquarius. I mean, what can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Okay. What can I say? All right. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's definitely going to go the distance with you. And then I feel like this is somebody new for some of you guys. It's going to be somebody new, but you're going to have more than one options. There's somebody that still have regret over the past that, you know, they, they feel like they don't have closure. And they want to speak their truth as well. Okay, now, for some of you guys that still have feelings for that person, that's up to you. That's your life. All right? But Spirit wants you to learn how to accept new. Okay? Because it's coming. It's definitely coming, guys. It's definitely coming. I can't make this up. Look what flipped over. Ace of Cups. Definitely coming. True love. Breakthrough. Abundance. Your guardian angels are with you at this time. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys may love to wear accessories in your hair. But again, what I said about the accessories in your hair. Protect your hair, guys. Some of you guys may be a nice chocolate brown. Um, love. Um, some of you guys may be makeup artists or getting into cosmetology or actors out there, models, something like that. But white. White. And try to wear white. Okay. During this summer or this week. But I, for, you know gold and white all right gold and white may be your colors but there is definitely a new relationship coming of course for celebration i do see a new job for you guys but this is all you're still under construction and this is all about entrepreneurship i'm picking up entrepreneurship all right i say we have money but definitely new beginners and fertility for some of you guys but some of you guys it's uh this person whoever's coming in is going to have pure intentions Okay, so all your blessings are going to be overflowing at this time. Your cup is going to be overflowing, guys. Okay? Yes, but pay attention to the signs and symbols and messages that your angels, your the ascended masters are trying to send you at this time, your ancestors, because they're guiding you and protecting you and protecting this love that's coming in. Yeah, queen of swords. Okay, you guys are warriors out there. Again, really in your element. I, I can't make this up, uh, but you guys are being honest and truthful. All right? But highly intelligent. Highly intelligent. But you're cutting through the mask. You're cutting through people's mask at this time. <laughs> okay? You're not playing. You're not messing around with people. Okay? Yeah, definitely your soulmate is coming in. But like I said, you guys are going to have options. So you guys have to choose wisely. Choose wisely, guys. But there's going to be instant attraction. Okay? It may be an older, younger dynamic. But this is a past life I'm picking up for some of you guys past life so you guys are going to instantly recognize this person like i said feel this person when they come in and yeah what i said some of you guys are still healing in a child some of you guys are still healing from the past okay or this person may be still or somebody that you were dealing with had to heal before they come in towards you guys your twin flame but i'm definitely having have picking up cell soulmate and twin flame for you guys okay heavily but this person is going to feel like home. Okay, yeah. But right now, what I said you guys are focused on, your spiritual gifts. Okay, wow. I'm seeing a lot here, guys. I'm seeing a lot. Your spiritual gifts. Okay. So you guys are already psychic workers and influencers and, you know, making baths and candles and teaching others about astrology and planets. But there's a lot, a lot of money coming in towards you guys. I did say you guys are moving. Some of you guys are married, but you're going to have a choice in love. Some of you guys, you know, was dealing with someone that was married, okay? But I do see that this person, whoever is coming in, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It could be all any sign, all right, guys? You're just going to know when you meet this person, okay? But lots and lots of money coming in, solid offers, okay? Yes, all right? Yeah. It may be a Gemini, okay, but 
Yeah, Gemini, again, is all about communication. And I do see communication coming in, effective communication. But definitely breaking those generational curses. But yeah, 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 you got a lot of eyes on you. This may be a Capricorn, guys, okay, Gemini, yeah. But really connecting on the 5D, okay? So really, really, really up there in your spiritual realm at this time. You're, you're, you're vibing on a higher, fre higher frequency at this time, guys, okay? But everything I was just saying, a lot of eyes on you guys. This person is secretly watching you. This person may be already married. I'm just saying, or religious. There's religious factors. But let's see who this person is, guys. Okay? Let's see who this person is. Yeah, this person, you guys may have a family already or want a family. That's what you desire. But I do see that this person that's coming in is going to be family-oriented. Okay, this person may be brown skin, have a goatee. This person, this may be an interracial relationship. This person, again, is spiritual as well for some of you guys. Yes, but this person definitely wants to move in and do big things with you. They know that you are their soulmate if you know this person. If not, this person just feels there. You're going to feel the instant connection. This person may be a business person as well. Okay, yes, but this person is definitely, excuse me, watching you from afar. This person may be older. Okay. A socialite, high society, connector. But I see you guys being, like, up there, prestige. Okay? But this person is going to have their stuff together. Brunette. Yeah, this person is going to be fun. You may meet this person out with friends or, you know, just out and about. But I still do see this person is going to come in fun. Uh, you may meet this person at an event. Okay? At a concert. Yeah, this is a past life. Okay, guys? Definitely. I do see dating. All right? Definitely, this person is going to want to court and date you. This person may have blue eyes as well. Lots of money coming in towards you guys. I'm not playing. This person has a lot of money as well. But this person is going to splurge on you. But this person is going to get their money right. Whoever is coming in is going to get their money right because this person is going to be a provider. Okay, but I do see wealth, luck, and finances, guys. Yes. Karma, what I said about karma. This is your good karma coming in, guys. All right, some of you guys may be involved in a love triangle, but not anymore. Okay, this person may be a brunette, but toxic story and new opportunities, new doors opening for you, and especially when it comes to your finances. Okay, guys, especially when it comes to your finances. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll make this up. Let me pick some of my anonymous here. Okay, let me pick some anonymous. Yeah, you guys are in deep contemplation at this time. Some of you guys may have been dealing with a narcissist, okay? But I do see you walking all over people at this time. You're not paying attention. You're like, whatever, okay? Yeah, you see, there's a lot of memories, again, stuck in the past. Uh, somebody's stuck on you, looking at the photos, looking at your photos, watching you from afar. They want to come in. I do see somebody traveling towards you guys. This person may have a dog, but I do see this person coming in very loyal towards you guys as well. This person is coming in very loyal, guys person yeah but there's somebody new coming in i do see somebody wants to take you on a date or they're thinking about taking you on a date again this may be a different nationality it doesn't necessarily have to be but i do see whoever's coming in is going to be an instant attraction okay but yeah yeah somebody's feeling lost without you you may be feeling lost at this time this is the energy that's going around with the retrograde okay but there's somebody that feels that, that's trying to connect with you here for the 5D. <sighs> torture in reverse. So with the torture in reverse, okay, you're, again, the emotional manipulation, there's no more. You're fighting your inner demons. You're, okay, yes, the power struggle, all right? You're moving on. Yeah, ghosts. But there's somebody that ghosted you. I feel that that's coming back around. But there, somebody's watching you from afar. They're watching you from afar, okay? But you brain their world, okay? Yes. They're going to reach out. Whoever this person is is going to reach out. This is your soulmate, okay? This person is your soulmate, all right? But right now, this present moment, you're releasing, and you're going through the purification process, yeah, lurking, okay, whoa, they're lurking, but I don't see that they're going to be lurking for too much longer, I see that they're going to make moves, 
okay they're gonna break their silence all right whoever this person is but definitely a soulmate is coming in guys but you're fighting your inner demons all right and quite frankly you're not paying attention to anyone at this time <laughs> just okay i'm just saying let me put these away a lot a lot of memories though a lot of memories you're trying to heal you're trying to heal your good karma is coming in guys yeah retaliation see this you have a lot of haters guys that's okay you know somebody's watching you that has evil eyes against you but spirit is blocking it and blocking what they can see okay definitely yeah because some of you guys this was a forbidden love it was a third party situation or just you know dealing with somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody i'm just saying Okay, take it out of resonance, all right? But you're discarding the trash at this time. Some of you guys may work in a band or, you know, play instruments or teach music or learning to music, but you're throwing out the trash at this time, like, out of here, okay? Yeah, TikTok, TikTok. Somebody in time know that they're running out, but right now, it's just all about, you know, patience. But deadline, yeah, you see, they're tuned into your business, Gossip, what gossip? You're not entertaining gossip, okay? They could talk about you. Right now, you're maintaining, you know, you're focused on your family, all right? Yeah, but they're really tuned in. You have a lot of people tuned in to you trying to get in your business, but they cannot. And that's the mystery, the mystery. You're, you're maintaining the mysterious at this time, and that's what's intriguing these mofos, okay? Yes. Yeah, what I said, you guys are going to be traveling definitely traveling some of you guys are moving moving some of you guys are just going for a weekend getaway but there's somebody definitely wants to travel with you okay yes bam signing contracts business contracts music contracts movie contracts you name it yeah but legal matters okay agreement between two parties getting married all right yeah, making something official. You're applying to places, but you're making things official. Yeah, you're dependent on your higher power and you're ascending at this time. Okay, but you're choosing what's best for your highest good. All right, you're connected to spirit at this time and you're on the path of the divine. All right, yeah, you're taking the lead in your life. Why? You're a rare gift and you were blessed with many, many rare special spiritual gifts. Okay. But you're going to be a high influence in business and people are going to be looking up to you putting you on a pedestal and what i said that's coming into your life a lot a lot of passion okay so some of you guys may love to wear red lipstick my, like myself but somebody is definitely lusting over you guys and they feel like they have unfinished business with you like i said you're the missing piece to their puzzle but right now you're just solving your own problems at this time and fixing your crown you're fixing your crown, okay? Yes. I don't need you to put me on my, a pedestal. I put myself on a pedestal. All right? And that's how it works. Hey, <laughs> hey. You guys are voice actors okay singers podcasts but using your voice to influence people to inspire people you're gonna have a lot of followers as well but you're getting your message heard like i said you're using your voice but you're being direct and you're speaking up for what you want <laughs> basically yeah you're setting those goals for yourself managing your money at this time some of you guys may have two cell phones some of you guys are going to need two cell phones because you're going to be very very busy very very soon okay we're going to have a lot of options, not only in love, but what I said. You guys are what? Facing your fear at this time. You guys are facing your fear. I see. You're saying yes to the things that you think you can't do. That's what you're saying. 
Yes to the things that you think you can't do, but beware came in reverse. Why? Just like care required came in reverse. You're seeing people for who they are. Okay? Yes, you are. All right? And you're, what I said, studying. Or you need to study. You need to study. But definitely, guys, change is coming. And I said change is coming. Somebody's coming probably. Uh, possibly around your birthday January February okay but winter time okay the end of this month the end of this year into new year somebody's definitely coming but five is all about changes and definitely changes are coming guys prepare yourself but you're making the necessary changes you're starting the change starts with you and that's what you're doing okay again some of you guys may be entertainers but I do see you guys being in the spotlight being some big shit getting discovered okay yes This reading is like yo fire what I said you guys are doing before you're making wise what investments so that's what you're doing buy the coin and I said buy coin but Bitcoin whatever how you ever you say it but you're making wise investments for your future you're planning carefully okay invest in your education and make some big plans for the future take calculated risks but save something to fall back on and that's what you guys are doing okay Long term, long commitment, tied the knot. Okay, getting married, a uh, power couple here, business investments, but an opportunity could turn into a long term career move, or you will be asked to commit to a position in exchange for more money. <laughs> Yo, I ain't, yeah, but look, expression, you're express yourself. That's what you're doing, you're expressing yourself. Okay, some of you guys may be writers, authors, writing books, but rap, music, whatever, but write down your ideas, guys. You need work that lets you express your creative self. Entrepreneur. You could do well at writing, blogging, or a career in communication. Voice. Okay? So that's what you're doing. You're using your voice. Okay? Yes. All right? Let me get some more messages here before I get to the key and to this. And then I'm going to end your reading, guys. This reading was like fire. I love it. But mask, what I said you're doing, you're cutting through what? People's mask. And that's what you're doing. And getting straight to the point. But the pen, signing contracts, yo, you're gonna be some, yo, I'm telling you, not showing true feelings. So somebody's hiding behind a mask, and you know that people are hiding behind a mask, but you're not showing people your true feelings as well. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslight. And so somebody possibly was trying to gaslight you here, and you cut the bullshit out but they can't let you go they can't move on it's like lingering emotion but yeah you're cutting through the mask okay yeah not enough because you feel like it was like not enough okay yes you may be meeting somebody on a rainy day but frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy Ugh. and you cut this bullshit the fuck out but you feel like if it's not enough then I have to go. Away I go. Sail into a new destination. Okay. Bye. Out of here. But there's somebody here that wants to come in. They want to come in. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. And closure issues. See, somebody having problems. They have unfinished business with you. They have a problem moving on here. Okay. But you don't really give a fuck. Goodbye. Okay. You know your worth. Okay. Yes, the chaser, and here they come fucking running. Here they come fucking running. Why? Because you're set. You set sail. Okay. What the fuck you thought I was gonna stick around and play pretend with you? I don't play fucking pretend, and I don't play hide and seek. Okay. We're not. We're not playing those fucking childish games. But now this person is gonna be chasing you. They have a fear of abandonment. Okay. They have abandonment issues. Again, this person needs to heal. Okay. Yeah. So now this person here they come running running after you okay watching you all right stalking your fucking ass okay yes keys on the ring but i do see you moving on um because you're gonna have many options and you're gonna be indecisive here guys all right yes 
but this person possibly was stringing you along, not giving you enough, wearing a fucking mask. And you decided to put on your fucking shades and say sayonara. You set sail. But now you have many options. Girl talk in reverse. Okay. What girl talk? You're not talking to any fucking body. You're not saying shit. You're just moving the fuck on. <laughs> okay. You're just moving on like out of here. Goodbye. Coffin. Dead. You're going through your own rebirth. Okay. Endings brings new beginnings. And that's what you're looking forward to. All right. Growth and change. Cutting this motherfucker out. Okay. But this is definitely a twin flame for some of you guys. But... Yeah, but then here goes abundance, right? Here goes abundance. But see, but spirit wants you to keep a positive mindset because you're going through a transformation. All right, guys. <clears throat> so definitely there is there is you coming in, but you don't have time for the bullshit. Okay? <sighs> Let's see what this fucker has to say. Yes, let's see what this fucker has to do. Oh, yeah, definitely this person that's coming in is going to come in with pure intentions, guys. I mean, this person is going to be coming in loving, caring, but again, choose wisely. Because you did have a motherfucker that was gaslighting. You see, you did have a motherfucker that was gaslighting. That's going to come back like, I deserve you. Put their foot down. Okay, but, um, yeah. I, yeah, because this person was hiding their feelings. Like I said, this person cannot move on. They can't move on. But this fucker was hiding their feelings. And you were like, you know what? I don't have time. I don't have time for these mind games. Okay? Out of here. Okay? I misjudged you, okay? Yes, they really did misjudge you guys. Um, but that's their bad, not yours, right? But see what I said, power couple. So this person feels like you guys are a power couple. Um, there's somebody new that you're gonna feel like is a power couple, okay? This person feels like you know they feel, you know, they know that you feel the same way, but I don't give you, I don't see you, yeah. They look at your old photos and texts, reminiscing, ga, 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 the memories, okay? I'm sorry, please forgive me, okay? Begging for your forgiveness, I do see that as well. All right, I miss everything about you. Okay, oh, and, and by the way, guys, this is my deck, so if you'd like to purchase my deck, uh, you know, please reach out to me through email. But this, somebody's going through the dark night of the soul. This person's going through the dark night of the soul. But when you meet this person, like I said, this new person is going to be love at first sight. Okay. And I love you, not them. Somebody wants to reach out. They're going to reach out and communicate that they love you, not the other person that they're with. If it was a third-party situation, they hate being apart from you. Somebody wants you back. I just saw it. There we go. I want you back. Okay, not ready to, but you're going to be like, I'm not ready to commit to anyone or anything at this time. Because you're not, guys. You're, you're not. Okay, you're being totally honest, you're logical, and focus on practical things right now. Okay? But somebody definitely is going to be expressing their love for you after they hit it. But it's going to be, I'm, I'm sorry, I feel like it's too late. It's too late for some of you, some of them. It's just too late. Okay, um, let me get the key here. I see you moving on with new love. But just not focus on that right now. Love is just going to come out of nowhere. Yeah, nature therapy, grounded. You see, the tree. So you're focusing on your, a lot of self-reflection here. It's focusing on you going out in nature, regenerating, recharging at this time. Going out, going out more with nature to nature. Some of you guys make your own, uh, your own homemade uh, medicine, natural healers. But yeah, your soul loves to connect and be one with nature. A beautiful healing takes place when you ground and center yourself with the earth. Being in nature has a way to restore what has been lost and brings you back to your center. 
So you remember who the fuck you are. You're fixing your crown at this time. You're taking the lead in your life. I don't need you to put me on my a pedestal. I'm already on my pedestal, basically. So you're 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 centering yourself, standing firm, okay? Yes. Let me get one more, and I'm closing out your reading, okay? Yes. But that's what you're doing. You're mastering your emotions and being ni nice, nasty about it, okay? And whoever don't like it, they could kiss your fucking ass. But you're dismissing at this time. You're very dismissive. Yeah. Sign, seal, deliver. <clears throat> Somebody wants to seal the deal with you guys. Okay. Long-lasting commitments, contracts. All right. But business contract, documents, gift of money, gift of money, career, writing, clerical, paperwork, and staying put. So you're staying put for right now. You're not making any sudden moves. You're working in silence. You're not allowing anybody to fuck with your mind and deter you from your plans. You're not allowing anybody to derail you, like this card said. Okay? No shortcuts. Trust in the process and do not allow others to derail you from making progress on the goals you set. So you're not allowing anybody to derail you. You're staying put. Okay? So that's, that's just what it is, guys. All right, you're not playing hide and seek with people. You're cutting off people mask, uh, gaslighting. What fucking emotional? No, no, no. There's no emotional manipulation going on with you, and quite frankly, you really don't give a fuck. That's basically what sums up this reading. And this was like a very powerful and awesome reading, guys. And yes, I love it. Anyway, guys, uh, I love you guys. I have to go. I'm possible. You're possible. Your girl Tosh. I'm out.